This is it, the moment that I've been waiting for ever since becoming a software engineer. My first interview with a big tech company. Hello? Hello, uh, Kenny Gunderson. Uh, Gunderman, but uh, yeah, that's kind of me. How's it going? All right, good. You ready to get started? Yeah, I am. Uh, sorry to ask, but there's like this big echo in the room. Is there anything that you can, uh, anything you can do about that? I'm sorry, did you say echo? Yeah, man, huge echo. Is there anything I can do about it? Yeah, man, that would be great. No. Okay, I'm just having trouble understanding you. All right, so the first round of the interview is gonna be the technical portion, then after that, we'll move on to the behavioral part. Sound good? Okay, sounds good. All right, so I'm gonna paste you a link to CoderPad. All right, I, uh, I got it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is print out Hello World to the console. Is this clown serious? Hello World. <laughs> you can do this in my sleep. Yeah, absolutely. Here you go. Great, nicely done. All right, so for the next question, given an integer array, I need you to find all the duplicate values. Okay, so I think I know what I need to do here. So the first step would be to iterate through the array. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. Looks like you're stuck. What do you mean? I literally just started. Have you tried throwing a smash map at it? Do you mean hash map? No, I mean a smash map. It's a data structure that we invented here at Firelighter Online Dating Services. Okay. It's very similar to a hash map, but it's also very different. That doesn't make any sense. Basically, we chose Smash Map because when two people go on a date, what do they do after? They sm they smash. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Uh, yep. I uh, I get it. Yeah. So just try using a Smash Map. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna have to stop you. We're getting nowhere here. Yeah, it's because I don't know what a Smash Map is. Can I at least Google it? No, absolutely not. Do you think real engineers Google when they get stuck on a problem? Yes, that's exactly what they do. Not here at Firelighter Online Dating Services, they don't. Okay, then can you tell me how to implement a Smash Map? You mean you didn't study Smash Maps before this interview? No, I didn't study- Yep, I'm gonna have to dock you on that one, my guy. Anyways, I think I've seen enough. Uh, let's just move on to the behavioral portion. All right, dude, whatever. So tell me about a time where you weren't gonna make a deadline, so you worked 100 hours of overtime a week for a year straight. Um, I can't say I've ever had that happen to me before. So you're telling me you don't have an answer to this. And uh, how long have you been in the industry? Uh, two years. Yikes, okay. Uh, well, tell me about a time where you dealt with a difficult coworker. Finally, a question that I can answer. And then you challenged him to a 1v1 in Halo 3. Loser gets fired. What the f***? All right, I guess we'll just lie here. Yep, sure. Um, one time I had this coworker, his name was Jacob. He was very particular about the organization of pens on his desk. And then one day, Jacob- Holy shit. You're making this up, aren't you? Eh? 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 Yeah, I am. I knew it. Oh, what is happening right now? What the f***? Whoa, what is happening? Where am I? Who, who are you? I am Linus Torvalds. Holy shit, the Lennox guy? Yes, Kenny, that's me. Kenny, you see, we need to tell you the truth. Dude, what is going on here? This world of software engineering has been a lie. Uh, what do you mean by that? How many times have you talked to a software engineer and they throw around all this technical jargon that makes them sound really smart, and by the end of it, you have no idea what they're saying. Yeah, I mean, that happens a lot. I just thought it was my lack of experience in the industry. No, Kenny, you see, they don't even know what they're saying. Whoa. They throw around all this technical jargon that makes them sound smart because it fuels their ego. I see. You see, nobody really knows what they're doing in this industry. We just act like we do. So you're trying to tell me that this industry is just full of egotistical developers that don't really know what they're doing and throw around a bunch of technical jargon to make them sound smarter than they actually are? That's exactly what I'm telling you, Kenny. Now, Kenny, you have two options. You can take the red key switch. You can have this information forever, going your whole career as a software engineer knowing that everyone's an imposter. Hmm. Or you can take the blue key switch, forgetting that this conversation ever happened, going your whole career believing that you are the only imposter. Is this like red pill, blue pill from the matrix, but with mechanical keyboard switches? Yeah, I mean, this is a programming video on a programming YouTube channel. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Well, Linus, I think ignorance is truly bliss. I've made my choice. <coughs> Man, what a weird dream. Yo, what the f-